how does cannabis talk to us? How do we understand this healing information within our own body? We know that we have cannabinoid receptors, right? But um, the nice easy story of CB1 and CB2 receptors, it's really nothing else than the edge of a quite large iceberg, okay? And the more we explore it, the larger it is. It's a fascinating and complicated machinery to which I devoted quite some of my time. Let's focus on this group of receptors here. They also interact with cannabinoids. They're called TRP receptors, and they're best identified for their interaction with plant molecules. The most fascinating thing that I find about all these different types of receptors is that they technically allow us to communicate directly with plants. Now, I find this super cool, to be honest maybe just because I'm a geek of this, but <laughs> um, so TRP receptors or sensational channels, are, are how they're called, they, they are activated by specific temperature range and they let us understand whether what we're touching is too hot or too cold and they send us pain and inflammatory signals. And this group of receptors also control our own internal temperature, but the interesting thing is that the fact that we know, that now we know, that they are perfectly activated by specific essential oils, which science calls terpenes, it has allowed us over the years to use mint if we want to feel a cooling, fresh sensation rather than chili pepper, because mint activates TRPM8, which is the cold sensing receptor. And we learned a bunch of interesting stuff. For example, that um, the traditional use in medicine of garlic as an antibiotic and anti-inflammatory anti is not such a stupid idea after all, because it activates TRPA1, which directly controls the immune system. So we understood, also thanks to this type of receptors, that plants have a direct way of communicating to us, which could benefit our own health.